Hello my friends, John LaRuffa here with another unbiased unboxing and this time I'm going to unbox Petricor or Petricor but I'm also going to throw in a couple of bonus unboxings with the two different expansions here as well. So you'll get to see everything that is cur currently released with the exception I guess of maybe a promo card uh, in this unboxing. So let's take a look at what we've got in this beautifully um, illustrated looking game from the back. Okay, so, like I said, we're going to do all three of these. Let's start with the base game. First of all, you can't not like the cover. It looks really nice. It's got the droplet there, very thematic. I like the artwork. I like the design. Um, and in the back, it kind of gives you a full look and view of the game. I always like that. I appreciate it. One to four players, you know me. That's exciting. And it looks like it's a fairly quick game to play. It's got the components listed in the back also, so that's good. And then the sides are just kind of the information. So let's see what we get when we crack this guy open. Okay. So first and foremost, does the inside of the box, box hold any secret artwork or anything? No, it does not. All right, so the box itself just is what it is. We've got the rule book. Start on the top there, cover art. So it looks to be illustrated nicely. Looks like very, very good illustrations. Lots of space taken for different things, examples, etc. So far that looks like it'll be pretty good. Um, a little on the long side, but not really. I mean, 20 pages, but these big, big books or I'm sorry, big pages, big artwork, big text, no real problem there. So that shouldn't be too bad. Looks like it's got plenty of examples. All right. And then the back, it kind of gives you some reference cards. I'd rather have a player aid of how to do it, but maybe those will come, um, you know, in there. We'll have to see. And then even talks about the Kickstarter promos, which this is not a Kickstarter copy. This is just a real retail copy. Okay, so as we look a little bit deeper into the box here, we've got a cardboard component. They're standard size, maybe slightly, slightly on the thinner side, but not super thin. Um, but you're not talking about the double thickness here. You're talking, you know, single, single thickness cardboard. I do like the artwork here. I like that there's um, some nice illustrations to everything. And uh, these are, it looks like these are little token holders. We'll find out what that is in a second. I think you fly around little clouds in this game, so that's going to be what you get there. The back, right there. All right. Going to be pretty easy to punch as I just inadvertently kind of clipped it out with my finger. And there's this, the, uh, the board. The board is double-sided. Looks like one side is different than the other. Probably one side for one or two players and the rest for... A lot more than that. We'll have to see. Um, anyway, that does look nice, and it's good high-quality board. Hopefully, it does not warp, um, you know, and spin. All right. Coming into the components here, we've got little glass red droplets. Okay, those are kind of like the Moncala looking uh, glass droplets there. No real issues. Nothing exciting. Nothing too, you know, nothing bad. So, just standard. And in probably four player colors. All right. Then we've got the cards. So let's take a look at these. Okay. First and foremost, there is a little bit of a texture there. Um, maybe slightly on the thin side, but not too bad. Uh, from a card standpoint, yeah, they're 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 fine. They're fine. Um, a little bit of a goofy size, so this is gonna make sleeving them a pain in the neck. It's the uh, it's definitely tall and thin. I have to see what that comes out to be. Um, so that's kind of a bummer for me, but that's just my fault. If you don't need to sleeve them, who cares? Um, artwork looks pretty good though, so I'm excited about what I see there. It's clear to see that you've got the icons and what you're looking at. All right, so again, that's kind of what you're getting with regards to the deck of cards. 
And we do have those player aids, so hopefully these are nice and succinct and kind of tell you how to play the game. All right. <clears throat> now, let's see what we got here as far as wooden components. Wooden components, we've got this big fluffy cloud, probably the first player marker. And then standard cylinders and um, discs of various sizes and colors. So those are fine. All right, and then some custom dice. Sort of. Okay, so we definitely have these guys here um, with the uh, the custom symbols on them. I don't know why it's not focusing. So we've got, um, those are probably seeds or discs or something. And then we've got what looks like, you know, food or grain or whatever. And then a standard die. So these should be just fine, just fine for the game. And a small bag. So it looks like the cloud fits in here. Everything else goes around it. What? There we go. Cloud fits in there. Other things around it. All right, so standard insert. Hopefully that'll be just fine. So far the components look clean. I like the artwork. Um, you know, nothing too spectacular, but nothing bad either for the price. It's probably pretty good. Let's go take a look at the Honeybee expansion. So this is an expansion for one to four players. Um, in the back, it kind of shows a little bit, but not really what you get inside. So kind of a, a ding on that one. I'd like to see a little bit more of what the, content, the contents are, but it does tell you a little bit about it. All right, so breaking into this guy. All right, and here we have an ornery box. Hopefully all these components will fit inside the regular box. That'll be good. All right, so we've got a small rule book here. Let's see how we do with regards to illustrations and such. Okay, so not as many illustrations, but it looks like it's still laid out in the same kind of way, kind of focusing more on content versus pictures. We've got what looks like, you know, different honey tokens of different sizes. They're wood. That's nice. Another set of cards here. So let's see if these cards... I know a lot of people like to see, are the cards the same? Do they fit with the base game? So we'll check that out once I get this open. Hopefully they are seamless. I bought all, these, all three of these at once, so I'm assuming they all kind of came out of the same printer. And they do look seamless with the base game as far as the, the look, the feel, the, um, the thickness. Everything looks about the same. So it looks like some player aids and some other small cards. All right. And then we get some stickers. Oh, I see. So that sticker is going to be, that's probably the, the honeybee token. So we've got some stickers to go on that guy. And then a couple of punch boards here with different things. So you got a watermelon, and an apple, some blueberries. All right. Okay. So that's what we've got here. That looks fine. And then the final expansion, this one says two to four players, so I'm not sure, or two to five players, pardon me. So it must not be all that suitable for solo play. We'll see what... Uh, what happens on that as we get it to the table later on. Again, the back of the box kind of useless with regards to what you're actually getting inside. It's a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. Can't win them all. Okay. Then in this one, Rule book for the Flowers expansion. All right, again, seems like it's kind of laid out in the same fashion as the other rule book. Um, a couple of pictures here. Some reference cards. Okay, and then we've got white. So this is going to be your fifth player component there from a glass standpoint. And the white discs that go with it. Plus another pack of cards. Let's make sure that they are, in fact, the same cut quality feel and all that stuff. There we 
we go. All right, so it is in fact the same. These may have a slight warp to them, as you can see there, but hopefully that'll just kind of work itself out through play. All right, so again, the same kind of texturing, the same kind of feel. Card's got a little indent there, but no big deal. All right, so it looks like you're probably getting another set of originals here, enough to make it for five players plus, you know, some different cards that'll go along with the actual expansion. And then we've got um, some different flowers here. Okay, so that's about the size of it. Overall, I think the components are pretty good quality. The thickness is right, um, and the cardboard, that's fine. Everything looks like it's going to be thematic and clean and kind of gives off that feeling of a fresh rain. So I'll give it uh, a big plus on the theme from a standpoint of what I can see on there. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, again, my name is John LaRuffa. This has been another Unbiased Unboxing. If you haven't already subscribed, please just do so. I really appreciate it. It makes me happy, and it's a lot of fun to see new subscribers and comments. Anyway, everybody have a great, uh, great evening or day or whatever time it is that you might be watching this, and we'll talk to you soon. Take it easy, folks. Thank you.